All right, guys, I thought I'd check out uh, Dragon's Lair for the Super NES and see what they do with this one, because I find it interesting, uh, the ideas they came up with uh, putting this on these consoles. All right, well, just start our game here and we'll see what happens. Oh, so... Right, with the cartoony look there from the uh, actual laser disc game. All right. First stage is the drawbridge here. All right. So X is swinging my sword, and then Y will fire out a little axe. Your movement's a little strange. You can let go of of your f forward button while he's running, and he'll keep running. A little slippery. I'm guessing that's a shield for health. Break those like a Castlevania game. Whoa! Where's the exit? Alright, so it looks like they took the original game level design and and made, you know, a, a different... Like, they used the ideas from the actual game, like the enemies and the, the stage, I guess the stages, and then just kind of made a platformer out of it. It's, it's a little funny... The way, I mean, the way the controls feel, it's a little floaty, a little it's strange with the running. See, I'm running, let go, and still kind of dash a little bit. And how do you climb on that? Oh. Jump up these, then? There we go. Just gotta get higher. Oh, watch out. Just smack him with your sword. Oh. Oh, what? Well, all right. So you can go back, I guess. I think there, like the, there might be al alternative routes, maybe. I'm not positive. Just a guess. Oh my. Let's just get through this. Oh man, I'm getting ripped up. Oh, well, that's no good, is it? I'm better off just dying. Yeah. So they used that. That was in in the original. I'm gonna see perhaps if I had gone a different route. Since this wasn't easy enough to level. I'll just have the guess because of this stuff here. Or I'll just fall to my death. Well, that's Dragon's Lair for the Super NES. I think that's a good enough look. Check it out for yourself if you're interested. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys soon.